Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We'll continue with our SQL Accounting System training. In today's lesson, we'll talk about Purchase Invoice. So in SQL Accounting System, under Purchase module, so here you can key in your Purchase Invoice. Purchase Invoice meaning is the invoice given by your supplier. So we just go in. And same thing, if you have your Purchase Invoice number, you can always search the previous one using the invoice number or if not you can use the supplier name to do the searching or maybe you want to do the field chooser right click any column title field chooser drag out any field that you want to use as the searching criteria you can use too or else just go to create a new purchase invoice by clicking on the new button so select the supplier using the name you can use the company name to do searching if you're not able to search meaning that your focus now is not at the company name and you can see the company name 2 is bold meaning your focus is at company name 2 so what you need to do is clear off all the key in data click on the tab key on your keyboard tab so it will shift to another column tap again, tap again, let it go back to company name. So just type the name of your supplier. So because previously we have key in the purchase order and transfer to good receive and now under purchase invoice what you need to do is very simple just right click and transfer from good receive. Okay just click on the item that you want to transfer over or you, you even can change the quantity according to the purchase invoice okay so you just click ok so if previously you have not key in any uh, transaction you can actually click on the plus sign and add the item by yourself okay then change the quantity in the price uh, accordingly now there's one thing that's very very important over here that you must remember is the purchase invoice can only be key in if you have received the purchase invoice from your supplier. Give you a scenario. You have purchased from the supplier, they have delivered the good to you, you have made the payment, you have sold out the item. Everything is done, the, the item not even at your company. But they have not given you the purchase invoice yet. Because of that, you can't key in the purchase invoice. It cannot accept under the GST um, GST rules. It's because when you have not received the purchase invoice, you cannot claim the input tax because you have the GST element in the purchase invoice. The second thing I want you to remember is under purchase invoice, the invoice number, you should not let the system auto run. You should key back the supplier invoice number according to the document number they have sent to you let's say their document or purchase invoice they sent to you is uh, iv-098 something like this so you should key like this this is because the gaf file okay this information will actually appear in gaf file or even lamperan doer that need to be used by custom when they come for audit so please remember this do not key in the purchase invoice if you have not received the invoice from your supplier and the document or invoice number should follow 100% from your supplier invoice. Okay, so this is how you create the purchase invoice. Of course, there is some um, special things about purchase invoice which I will discuss in future tutorial. So this is the thing that you need to know and you, this is also an internal document that you do not require to print out because the document of the hard copy will be sent by your supplier and do remember purchase invoice is the place where it will have impact to your stock quantity and also accounting and also GST so if you have created a good receipt you must transfer the information from good receipt over to purchase invoice else the system will increase the quantity for the same item twice once in 
good receive the other part is in purchase invoice so do the transfer okay so um you just save it now you have your purchase invoice system will automatically post this purchase invoice ib-098 to the supplier side when you go to supplier you can see supplier invoice and you can see the 98 is already here but only thing is when it post over it become the purchase account instead of the item itself so this is what it's mean by real-time posting when you create one document and purchase or stock the same document will or the information will be posted to the accounting side for purchase it will go to account payable or the supplier side so when you edit this document the same things will update to your account side so you do not require to understand accounting in details in order to use SQL accounting system so that's all so if you have time do drop by at my facebook is facebook.com slash syntax technologies then um, you can also you can get all the latest information regarding sql and also um, gst do drop by at my website is syntax.com.my slash youtube or click on the youtube and you can get all the latest tutorial video or previous tutorial video regarding sql so that's all for today i'm brian from syntax technologies thank you